This is a quick video to show how you remove ABS parts off of a glass plate that has um, either Kapton tape or PET tape on it. And then on top of that, uh, in order to get large parts to actually sit flat, then uh, I actually use what's called ABS juice. And uh, the good news is that it uh, keeps all your parts, your first layer, very, very well bonded to the plate. Bad news is it makes it considerably harder to actually remove the things. But uh, here's what I do is that uh, once I put the ABS juice on there, I let it dry. I use a fairly thin coat of it because if you get too thick, then it uh, sometimes doesn't hold very good. And if you don't use it at all, it doesn't hold very good. But uh, when you actually use a fairly light coating of it, then it actually adheres really, really well. Um, so what I'm going to do is try and remove these parts, and you'll see that it actually holds pretty well. So. I never actually touch the plate uh, because uh, you get any oil or fingerprints or anything on there. Um, I touch the outside edges of it but never actually touch the plate itself. Uh, then, then it's kind of hard. One of the things I use is a light razor to actually scrape up the outline very, very lightly. And that removes pretty well. So let's see if we can get these off of there. Some pieces are harder than others good. Very, very flat parts are possible with ABS juice with this combination. And you really have to tug sometimes. If it doesn't come right away, then one of the things I do is I take it off the edge of a table and I just lightly press the glass until you'll ca you can hear some cracking of it. Not the glass, but of the bonding between the glass and the parts. So you can kind of hear a little bit of the Okay, once you do that, you kind of hold on and hope it comes. There it is. Good bonding of the very first layer is very, very critical to actually get good parts. If you don't have a good first layer, you're never going to get a good part.